let's talk Chris Murphy. Let's talk Chris Murphy and another one bites the dust, as they say. Yes, it's true. His channel has been removed by himself. By himself, he's taken down, he's closed his account. If you uh, need further information, go onto my community post and press the link, you know, for his video. It's there still. And the same with the reacher. He closed down his account because basically, them two gentlemen are not built for YouTube. They are too emotionally weak, let's be honest. They're too fragile for this corner of YouTube. They have meltdowns literally every other week, you know? Even, you know, or even the stupid sniffing sheriff has more backbone than them two. Um, and if they do come back next week, next year, next month, who, who knows, who cares? Well, I won't be around anyway, lucky for me. Um, but I will never promote their channel or mention them again, you know? Uh, look, these gentlemen, yeah, they build their channels up, get a decent following, you know, decent amount of subscribers. Then they delete their channel, and then, and, then, and then a few weeks later, they have a rethink, and start another new channel from scratch. And all us mugs have got a light say, oh, don't forget to go and sub to blah blah or this one, or that one. Not anymore, mate, I can't be done with any, any of them. Um, the reason I'm quitting at the end of this month is not because I've had a mental breakdown like Chris or The Reacher, because they are... They're basically a pair of wimps, you know, a bit like Paul Dumbo Venice. Ooh, ooh be better, <laughs> Um, It's because I don't watch really anyone. I don't really watch anyone on this corner anymore. So I can't do like a commentary. I can't do a review. You know, it's, it's getting harder and harder. There's a handful of people I watch on this corner of YouTube. You know, you could count them on one hand and probably still have fingers free. So that's why even my videos... They're the same thing every day. Um, I'm, I'm on repeat, like the stupid sniffing sheriff and all his bacon-obsessed weirdo friends, you know? The same old shit on the lives. People shouting and arguing. Everyone's always going to have a fight. Everyone's always going to doorstep this one. Everyone else is going to do this, that. This one's a bacon. This one's a wrong one. This one's an enabler. It's the same shit on repeat, you know? This corner has been stuck in a rut for about four or five years now. So the best... Characters have gone, yeah, we, we know who they are, you know, Fighting Trolls, Astring, Uncle Kai, Hector, um, uh, Matty from the Cesspit, you know, Real Response TV, Titch, rest in peace, brother, never forgotten, and, you know, all the best ones have gone, we, look, we're just left with sloppy seconds, and, you know, even, even Decker's gone, well, he's been locked up, and he, about three times in one year, so... When he does eventually come out in a couple of years, he'll probably get locked up again. So Brett May is another one. He's good. He's good stuff, but he's he's never around. He's, he spends more time, you know, in that little uh, cell than he does on YouTube. You know, so all the characters have gone. There's nothing worth watching. You know, I, I don't care about that, um, what's that guy exposing nothing. You know, he's he's a bore and a simp. Um, the stupid sniffing sheriff, he's stuck on repeat, mate. And, you know, and that's if you can actually sit through his videos, you know, what with all the fucking belching, the farting, the scratching, the sniffing, the twitching, the rocking, you know, you get you get the idea. I mean, he's a one-trick pony. He is absolutely a one-trick pony. Apart from the bacon thing, deflecting his own perversions onto other people, he has nothing else. He has nothing else to talk about, you know? Um... What can I say? It's, it's stuck in a rut. We, look. Reacher, Chris Murphy, they're, they're in the same category as Jack Diaper, Paul Dumbo Venice, they're quitters. All of them are emotionally fragile. They're snowflakes, ladies and gentlemen. They haven't got the backbone for YouTube. And thank God I'm going to get away sooner rather than later because I could not do another fucking year of coming on here, repeating myself, arguing with other fucking middle-aged weirdos about who's a baker, who's a wrong one, or this one said this, or this one's done that, or watching that lot on a live every night, jumping from live to live to live to live, shouting that they're going to have a fight. They're all going to have imaginary fights. Every Friday, through to all the weekend, 
the same old faces, well, when I say faces, the same old names shouting at them. Oh, mate, you're a millionaire. He's a friend of mine. You're a fraud for you. Done. Done with it, mate. Done. And then you've got the other weirdo, that Paddy Pants down on live every three days. Talking about the Masons, Donald Trump's, the murders. You know, that they're all in a gang, they're all plotting, and this one's a bacon, another bacon obsessed weirdo, and he happens to be the biggest bacon on it. You know, you've got to make it up. And also his best friend is one of the biggest bacons on it. You know, you you've got to make this stuff up. It's comedy, but only the joke ain't funny. So yeah, that's it. Um goodbye, Chris. Goodbye, Reacher. I uh, will like to say, nobody's gonna miss you. Good riddance, cry babies. Laters.